Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you in this channel. In this video, I am uh, discussing my learnings uh, from the uh, Middle Discourses 20, uh, Middle Discourses 20 uh, on uh, Buddha's advice on how to stop negative thoughts. Uh, the link to this discourse is given in the uh, description, this particular discourse. Uh, okay, so here basically Buddha says, give, Buddha gives five ways how we can stop our mind, how we can stop the negative thoughts. Uh, which arise in our mind, right? So, the first way, Buddha says that uh, take a mendicant who is focusing on some subject that gives rise to bad, unskillful thoughts connected with desire, hatred and delusion. That means, uh, uh, when I am focusing on some subject and a particular thing and some negative thought comes like desire, hatred. So, Buddha's advice is, the first advice Buddha gives is focus on some other subject connected with the skillful. That means, focus on, just change your focus. Right? So, if you are focusing on something and desire, Ill, 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 illness, hatred, these thoughts come in our mind. No, So, immediately focus your, shift your focus. Do not go into that. Do not give your mind's energy to the negative thought. Just change your focus. Right? So, how you can change your focus or what I do? See, many, many ways. You can, so Buddha says, change the focus to the skillful. That means, do any skillful act. So what I do is that if any negative thoughts comes, what my practice is, is that I bring my attention down to my abdomen and do the rising and falling. Just focus on the rising and falling. This is part of the insight meditation uh, by Mahasi. I have Mahasi Sardau. I have made a separate video on the insight meditation. So I bring my focus back to the belly, rising and falling of the belly. Right? It shifts my mind from the negative thought and brings me become makes me more mindful, right? So uh, if you uh, if you are aware, there is Satipatthana Sutra, the one of the highest sutras, uh, where Buddha gives the four foundations of mindfulness. Where you can either of the four foundations you can fix your mind on, which is body, feelings, mind, and objects of the mind. So any of the things you can be mindful of, right? You can be mindful of this entire body, or like the abdomen, right? Or the breath, where wherever you want to, right? So that is one thing. Or you can like just maybe uh, start doing some dharma study. That means uh, pick up a good book and start reading the contents of the some book, book that contains some good knowledge. Right? So you can do that. So that is the first thing that what Buddha says is that focus on some other subject connected with the skillful. Buddha gives an example, an uh, analogy of that it's like a deft carpenter or their apprentice who would knock out a or extract a larger peg, larger peg with a with large peg with a finer peg. In the same way, a mendicant should focus on some other foundation of meditation connected with the skillful. That means you can pick up any particular object and be mindful of that particular object. Right? Best thing is to bring attention to the body and focus on the rising and falling of the breath of the abdomen or the breath. This is what I do. Just an idea of what you can do. Second. Uh, now, Buddha says that suppose a mendicant is focusing on some other object as connected with the skillful and still desires and all these unskillful thoughts come. So, Buddha says that now the second approach. See, we have to have all the strategies. So, Buddha gives, so there is not one strategy that works in all situations, right? So, Buddha gives the second strategy is to examine the drawback of those thoughts. That means those thoughts of lust, blame, anger, hatred. See, these thoughts have created suffering for us through innumerable lives, right? And today that we are suffering, that we are seeing. Now, we need to just examine the the, the suffering that, that these thoughts, if we go down that road and go deep in those thoughts, how we will increase our suffering. So, Buddha's complete teaching is on elimination of suffering. So, Buddha says, just examine the, the drawbacks of those thoughts. And so, these thoughts are unskillful, they are blameworthy and they result in suffering. Buddha says, just examine that. So, now Buddha gives here an analogy. Buddha says, suppose there was a woman or a man who was young, youthful and fond of adornments. If the carcass of a snake or a dog or a human were hung around their neck, they would be horrified, repelled and disgusted. In the same way, a mendicant should examine the drawback of those. So, you should be just repelled and horrified at the suffering that you would create if you go down that road and into those thoughts, right? So just quickly examine and come back to the positive thought. Now, third strategy. 
uh, Buddha says that even though if I am examining the drawbacks of these thoughts, but still, still these uh, bad, see there are these thoughts, no? these are these thought patterns of lust and all cravings. They are so strong, they just, these are the chains that fetter us into this existence, into this cycle of samsara. So here Buddha says that if you are even examining those thoughts, but bad skill, unskillful thoughts connected with desire, hate and delusion come up. So the third strategy Buddha gives is, Try to forget and ignore about them. Just forget. Just forget. Take them out of your mind. Right? This just requires some effort. Just forget. Wipe them out. You can even have a like an imaginary wipe uh, duster and just wipe those thoughts out of your mind. Wipe, wipe, wipe. You know, this is our practice. This is what we need to do. Otherwise, the mind's potential is so much that, you know, the power is so much of these cravings that they will take us into that particular direction. So here Buddha is giving the analogy of that there is a person with a clear eyes, yeah, person having a clear eyes, eyesight and some undesirable sights come into the range of vision. So what the person does, he just closes his eyes or he just looks away, right? Like in uh, 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 Mahatma Gandhi who was the, uh, who was the uh, father of the nation in India, he said very, very big thing, don't see anything bad, don't, don't, don't hear anything bad, right? Don't see anything bad. Don't hear anything bad. This is why important is so that we can protect our peace. Right? Just ignore. Just ignore. Just dust off the whole thing. Clear the whole thing. Ignore. That is the third thing that Buddha says. Fourth. Now Buddha says, suppose that the mendicant is ignoring and forgetting about those thoughts, but still the bad unskillful thoughts come. So Buddha now says, stop, focus on stopping the formation of these thoughts. That do not let those thoughts form. Right? Be mindful that these th thoughts, if you give them attention, then they will form, they will create, right? They will grow. It's like a seed that is planted and its water is given. So similar way, if you give the mind's energy to those thoughts, it will sprout. Do not give, do not give mind's energy to those thoughts. Just important what I would think and what my interpretation is, I'm also in my learning journey is that if I practice mindfulness of my body at that time, mindfulness of the sensations that arise for example lust is there or anger is there the hot sensations arise in the body if i practice mindfulness then i reduce the charge of those thoughts and the potential of those thoughts to take me it's like it's like three four monsters which are trying to take me down that road to suffering then if i'm mindful i i i i stop the formation of those thoughts right so so mindfulness is my way where uh, mindfulness of the body or mindfulness of breath so which will help me stop the form formation of those thoughts fifth buddha says so here buddha is giving an analogy suppose there is a person who is walking quickly and they just think why i am so walking so quickly i should slow down similarly if these thoughts come right they come with a force then just slow them slow them slow them stop their formation right so that way you can do. Now fifth Buddha says the approach is that okay you are focusing on stopping the formation of the thoughts and still the bad thoughts are coming right. Such sticky thoughts are there that they are still coming. Here now Buddha says the fifth and the final approach right is Buddha says with the teeth clenched and the tongue pressed against the roof of the mouth. Teeth clenched and the tongue pressed against the roof of the mouth. They should squeeze, squash and crush the mind with the mind, right? Use the power of the mind to crush out these thoughts. Use the power of your mind to crush out these thoughts from your system, right? As they do, so the bad things are given up and come to end. Now, Buddha gives the analogy of, it's like a strong man who grabs a weaker man by the head or throat or shoulder and squeezes. See, you can try to discuss, argue, everything with a person who is not having good intentions. So at the end what happens is, right, you are just walking in a forest and you encounter a thief. You can discuss, argue and do everything. But then even if he still doesn't agree, then you have to use your uh, physical power. So Buddha says, it's like a strong man who grabs a weaker man by the head or throat or shoulder and squeezes, squashes and crushes them. In the same way mendicant, with teeth clenched and tongue pressed against the roof of the mouth, should squeeze, squash and crush the mind with the mind. As they do so, these bad thoughts are given up and come to an end. Right? So these are basically the five uh, things 
where Buddha says five ways where we can stop the negative thoughts from entering and you know taking control of our mind. So Buddha last in the last thing Buddha says in this discourse that this is called the mendicant, the person who does this is called the master of the way of the thought. They will think what they want to think and they won't think what they don't want to think. Right? They will cut off the craving, untied their fetters. Fetters are chains. And by rightly comprehending conceit, have made an end to suffering. This is what the Buddha said. Satisfied the mendicants approved what the Buddha said. So, Buddha says, so the entire Buddha teaching, I am just understanding it in a better way is that Buddha's teaching is just to take control of your mind. The mind can take us in good things, unwholesome uh, actions, and uh, uh, whole, uh, wholesome thoughts that we entertain take us in wholesome actions, unwholesome thoughts that we entertain take us in unwholesome actions. So we need to exercise diligence of, of first of all, we need to be mindful of our thoughts as they are arising. And as negative thoughts arise, we can use these strategies. Just to summarize, first is switch to a good good thought right good thought focus on the skillful change your focus right so as i said you can bring mindfulness to your body or your breath or you know so that becomes our practice and first of all friends don't think that you know once or twice you try it doesn't happen this is our life lifelong practice on the buddha's path right buddha has given a path we have to just exercise diligence keep coming back to this path right do not entertain negative thoughts first switch to a good thought mindfulness second Examine the impact of the bad thoughts, right? That the, these thoughts bring me suffering. Then why do I get go down this road? I have went down this road so many lifetimes and had so many tears. Now no more. Third, forget or look away. Look away from these thoughts. Fourth, stop the formation of bad thoughts, right? Look. Third is look away. Just clear them from your mind. Fourth, even if they're still they are forming, stop their formation. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Stop their formation. Fifth, use your mind power. Suppress the bad thoughts through, through the sheer power of the mind. Five ways. I hope this video was useful to you. Uh, do read the, uh, the complete discourse. It will give you your own insights. If you have any thoughts, comments, feedback on this particular uh, video, do please share. And do please let me know uh, how you want me to you know, uh, do these kind of videos on discourses. Any better way I can do these videos. Uh, Thank you so much for watching this video. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya.